evening, I'm going to demonstrate to you, beyond the shadow of a doubt, the existence of the sixth sense. To do that, I first have to clear my mind and then stand on one leg. And I can stand on my leg quite comfortably because I have a sense of balance. There you go, sense number six, balance. But I'm not happy stopping there because we can also sense pain, temperature, carbon dioxide even. So why is it that given all this everyday evidence to the contrary, that we insist on claiming we only have five senses? Hold that thought, I'm coming back to it. Because now I'm changing tack and I'm going to tell you a story that starts in 1911 with a chap called Robert Millikan. He did an absolutely exquisitely beautiful experiment to measure the charge on the electron. By taking tiny negatively charged droplets of oil, he suspended them in space by balancing the downward force of gravity with the upward pull of an electric field. And then, then took some incredibly detailed measurements. Unfortunately, some of his assumptions weren't up to scratch, which meant that the value he got was significantly lower than the value that we recognize today. But to an extent, that doesn't really matter. Because as is the way with science, other people came along and repeated his measurements. So you'd have thought that they would have got the right value. Except they didn't. The next person got a value slightly higher than Milligan's, but still significantly out. And the same occurred for the next and the next and the next person. The result then is that if you plot the, the apparent charge on the electron versus time, you get this increasing curve that plateaus out the at, the, at the value that we recognize today. So what caused this strange phenomenon? Well, the answer is linked to why we claim there are only five human senses. And it's in part due to something that we call confirmation bias. This basically means that we, as scientists and everyone else, generally interpret our observations in a way that confirms our preconceptions. So we all have this preconceived idea that we have five senses because that's what we're taught in primary school. And the people that followed Milligan have a preconceived idea of what the charge on the electron ought to be, and so uh, interpreted their results accordingly. Now, the thing is that this sort of behavior is actually seen throughout science. You see it in particle physics, zoology, clinical trials even. And really, it means that often, we as scientists and everyone else aren't as objective as we like to think we are. And I suppose my little story can be really nicely summed up with a quote from Cardinal Wolsey, who 500 years ago said, be very careful what you put in that head because once it's in there, it's very, very difficult to get it out again. Thank you.